So let's put this all together. Here are many different factors that are gonna help us with the short-term regulation of food intake, meal-to-meal -meal food intake. So first let's look at what, um, let's say you haven't eaten for a while, you are in a fasting state, you're pretty hungry. In this situation, you're gonna be secreting the hormone ghrelin from your stomach. So ghrelin coming from the stomach is going to inhibit the vagus nerve and therefore we will not be sending any afferent signals up to the NTS, we will not be, we will have an inhibition of satiety. And additionally, when we're looking at the level of the hypothalamus, ghrelin is going to go in and activate or stimulate these AGRP neurons. Those AGRP neurons then are going to be sending a lot of this NPY neurotransmitter. NPY is gonna inhibit the POMC neurons. Additionally, NPY is going to inhibit the MC4R receptor in the paraventricular hypothalamus. Therefore, we will not be having this inhibition of food intake. So overall, the uh, ghrelin is going to um, inhibit any of the satiety. So in this case, ghrelin is an orexigenic hormone. It's gonna cause you to eat more. Now, you have started to eat. You have food coming in. Your GI tract is digesting and absorbing your food. We're gonna have a whole suite of enzymes that are being secreted from the GI tract that are going to regulate our food intake now. So these suite of um, hormones are GLP-1, PYY and CCK. The other thing that's happening in our GI tract right now is that it's being distended. It's being stretched because we have had a whole bunch of food that is now being digested and it's turned into chyme and it's stretching our GI tract. That distension of the GI tract is going to be activating the mechanoreceptors on the vagus nerve, causing afferent signals to be sent up to the NTS. This is gonna stimulate the nucleus tractus solitarius to induce satiety. So that's coming up from the vagus. This whole suite of GI hormones is also gonna be stimulating different chemoreceptors on the vagus to also send afferent signals up to the NTS and induce satiety. So that's GLP-1, PYY, and CCK. These, um, a CCK additionally is going to inhibit ghrelin because we don't need our hunger hormone anymore. We have food coming in. Additionally, CCK is also going to stimulate more PYY. Okay, now let's, gonna, let's look at what's happening at the level of the hypothalamus. So the hormone GLPY, or sorry, the hormone GLP1, pardon me, is going to stimulate the POMC neurons. Stimulation of those POMC neurons is gonna cause more of this alpha MSH neurotransmitter to be activating the MC4R receptor that's gonna stimulate the paraventricular hypothalamus to inhibit food intake. GLP-1 is also gonna be responsible for inhibiting the agouti-related peptide neurons. Um, and by inhibiting them, we are no longer gonna have any of this NPY. And then if we look at how PYY is acting at the level of the hypothalamus, PYY is going to inhibit the agouti-related peptide neurons. So additionally, it's another level of inhibition so that we don't have this NPY being secreted and we will can just have activation of the POMC neurons to stimulate the paraventricular hypothalamus to inhibit food intake. So that makes GLP-1, PYY, and CCK, these are all anorexigenic hormones, whereas our only orexigenic hormone is ghrelin. This is all part of our short-term regulation of food intake because it's really directly related to the act of digesting and absorbing food. Now let's look at an example of long-term regulation of food intake. This is the hormone leptin. Leptin, again, is being secreted in response to the amount of adipose tissue mass we have, the amount of energy stores that we have. So leptin secreted from the um, adipose tissue is going to act at the level of the hypothalamus. Leptin is going to stimulate our POMC neurons to release alpha MSH stimulate that MC4R receptor so that our, M our paraventricular hypothalamus neurons are being activated to inhibit food intake. And then additionally, leptin is also going to be inhibiting these AGRP neurons so that we're not getting any of this NPY neurotransmitter.